Hola, so uh, I had a request to make a video on nationalities in Spanish. Uh, since there are so many different countries in the world, I'm not going to do all of them. So I picked, uh, I think, all but one of the Spanish-speaking countries, and then I threw in a few extras that are, whatever, some more popular countries, I guess. If yours isn't in there, you can ask me, and I can tell you how to say it, maybe. Uh, so sorry if yours isn't in there. If you want to have a list of these countries to take with you, there are two links in the, the description of this video. One of them will take you to a list of the nationalities. The other one will take you to a nationality quiz that I give to my students. So if you want to take that, I will also give you the answers for that at the end of this video. So first, I'm going to go through the pronunciation of the nationalities that are on that link in the document that takes you to the nationalities. So if you want to look at them on there while I pronounce them, that would be ideal. So go ahead and open that because here come the pronunciations starting at the top. We have a Guatemala. I'm just going to give you the pronunciations in Spanish and make sure to point out a couple of irregularities with some of these so that you understand them. So starting at the top. Guatemalteco, Salvadoreño, Hondureño, Costarricense, Panameño, Ecuatoriano, Peruano, Boliviano, Paraguayo, Chileno, Cubano, Dominicano, Puerto Riqueño, Nicaragüense, Colombiano, Venezolano, Uruguayo, Argentino, Mexicano, Americano, Estadounidense, Canadiense, Español, Italiano, Chino, Africano, Inglés, Francés, Alemán, Japonés. So the irregularities I'm going to tell you about, the ones that end in say like Estadounidense, Canadiense, those ones, the female version, the feminine version of it is the same as the masculine. If you want to make it plural, just add an S to it. Uh, the four that are at the bottom, the bottom of the list, the English, Francais, those ones, I put in brackets next to it an ESA. The reason I did that is because when you put it into its feminine form, you drop the accent mark. And there was one other thing I wanted to tell you, and, oh, with uh, Americano for American, uh, I'm not sure, honestly, which word is used more to refer to someone from the United States, if it's Americano or Estadounidense, um, but someone from the U.S. can be referred to like I could say, yo soy estadounidense. I think that the problem with the word americano is that uh, we have North, Central, and South America, so technically speaking, everybody that lives in one of those places is americano because they're in one, some part or another of America. Uh, so maybe that's why we have estadounidense, to be more specific to some, for someone from the United States. If you want to take that quiz, there's also a link for that. You can do that now. I'm going to give you the answers in just about two seconds, so go ahead and open that up, and then I'm going to start giving you the answers. So, part de uno, part one, uh, we, we have uh, Mexicano or Mexicana. Dos, we have Cubano or Cubana. Tres, Boliviano, Boliviana. Cuatro, Colombiano, Colombiana. Uh, part two, uh, so I'm saying where I'm from, what would my nationality be? So, uh, number one would be Estado Unidense. Uh, dos, Italiano or Italiana, if you're a girl. Tres, Chino, China. Uh, four would be Peruana, Peruano. And then part two is matching, uh, Germans, Alemán, uh, Spanish, Español, Canadian, Canadiense, uh, Inglés, Uruguayo, Francés, Ecuatoriano. And uh, that was pretty much it for the quiz. Uh, with the nationalities, I want to point out one other thing to you. I just, I just remember what the other thing was. Uh, they're not capitalized in Spanish like they would be in English. So if I, want to, if I say, yo soy Mexicano, you don't capitalize the M on Mexicano. You just leave it lowercase. It's kind of like the, the days of the week and the months in Spanish, how you don't capitalize those. Same thing with nationalities as well. Uh, that's it. If you have questions, let me know. And uh, thanks.